Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. And speaking of veterans, when one man was a child, he knew the name of every aircraft and enjoyed watching planes take off and land. As photojournalist Nick Kiefer and Gwen Bevel show us, it never dawned on him he would someday be in a plane headed for the Korean War. Bob Cocking says after trying out college, it was two buddies from North High School who convinced him to sign up for the service. They said, we'll join the Navy, why don't you go with us? I said, okay. Bob Cocking and his high school friends were recruited by a submariner. He said, well, what, what do you want to do? I said, I want to be a submariner. He threw his pencil down. He says, no, you don't. And that's what led Cocking to aircraft. This is a replica of the airplane. He graduated second in his class, so he was given the choice on where he was headed. He landed in Jacksonville, Florida. My name was on the airplane. Once Cocking became an officer, he says he was given the best advice. You treat a man like a man, he'll work for you. You treat him like a dog, he'll bite you in the rear every time. He says this crew will always mean the most to him. To me, anybody that's been in the military, they're my brother. And Cocking says in the Navy, they always took the same plane. They keep it spotless clean and take care of it because you practically live in it. Once the plane took off, Cocking was at the helm. They tell me, give me climb out, and I would change the power settings to climb out to whatever altitude. He was the flight engineer. I got all the throttles and, and everything we have to do with the engines. I, I watched the engines to make sure everything was running right. He says during the Korean War, they had to give report every hour while in flight. So they knew we were still around. <laughs> They were known as the Ghost Squadron. Like a ghost, we showed up and sunk them. They were hunting enemy submarines and flying low to do so. We would do figure eights at 100 feet off the ground, off the water. He says they weren't always easy to spot. At night, we would go out and they would normally snor snorkel at night, and you catch them that way. He says they also tracked Russian fishing ships at one time. We'd fly right over the top of them. They wouldn't even look up. <laughs> the small ones were not their concern. We was flying right over the top of the main ships, uh, taking pictures. He says the crew was always prepared. What we were wearing, we called them poopy suits. Those suits were designed to save their lives in case they went down. You could last, with that in that water up there, you could really last 20 minutes. But if you got in the raft, you could cut the rubber off, you could last for a long time. His Navy career, on the other hand, didn't last as long as he would have liked. There's a lot of times I wished I'd never got out. The year he did, he made one of the best decisions of his life when he married his wife, Mary. That was 66 years ago. So she's been there for all of his career highlights since, including his work on the BTK investigation. Quite a surprise because I'd been retired and they called me back to give me this. This coin has his name on it, along with the others that helped bring the serial killer to justice. When they captured him, he called me and he said he, could, he, said he couldn't get the guy to shut up. He kept wanting to confess. <laughs> Cocking retired as a lieutenant with the Wichita PD before he went on to retire again as an investigator for the district attorney's office. After so many career accomplishments, Cocking still lights up when talking about his flying days decades ago. I loved it. He's thankful he followed the advice to go to Navy boot camp. That decision allowed him to see so much as a member of a combat air crew. Cocking says the controls got a little hairy when flying over the North Pole because the compasses were no longer accurate. He says they supposedly threw out a container marked with the names of his crew. Perhaps someday that will surface again. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyer, we're honored to be here with this week's Veteran of the Week, Mr. Bob Cocking. Mr. Cocking, thank you so much for your service to our country in the United States Navy, and we're excited to present you with a check for $500. I was overwhelmed by uh, loved every minute of it, and I uh, thank you very much. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.